So I've got all six sides of my dice done. I even have a fancy little five right there. Let's make it look pretty. So when I have some dice right here, this is not a perfect edge right here. This is actually kind of rounded over ever so slightly. This is rounded over ever so slightly. All, everything is rounded over ever so slightly. So let's do that on ours. So, so when we give it a little round over, what we want to do is kind of round it over like this. And we call that a fillet. There's a button up at the top right here that says fillet. It's not fillet, it's fillet. And what that does, again, if you're not sure what a button does, you just put your mouse over it and it says you can round the edges. So that's going to look beautiful right there. Fillets are, you know, very, very normal things. If you look around the world, pick up anything, and the edges aren't perfectly sharp. They're rounded over ever so slightly. What that does is it makes it more comfortable to hold, especially things that you touch usually round it over. Okay. So the way you make a fillet as well, you just click on the fillet button, which you can't see. There you go. Let's get my drawing back. There we go. All right. So if I click on my fillet button, it says select edges. So what edges do I want? Well, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click one edge and I can preview how it's going to look. So it says two millimeters. What is that two millimeters? If I look right here in my drawing, if I pretend that this is a circle, what that two millimeters is, is this radius of this circle right here. So if I pretended that was a whole circle right there, what it is it's doing is it's just taking this edge right here. So, a larger circle would be a bigger curve. A smaller circle would be a smaller curve. So if I looked at this from the side view right here, you can kind of pretend that there's a circle right there. So if I change this to 1, it's going to get smaller. If I change this to 18, you see it's gigantic. I don't want that. Let's um, let's pick three. Yeah, three's a bit much. Let's take a look at two. All right, that looks pretty good, right? So I can hit OK. I like that. That looks good. Let's do that to all of the edges, though. Um, so I can double click to get back into here, and let's click on all of our edges. I should have 12, I think. And one of the neat things, you can kind of see how some of that stuff's turning green. What it's doing is I'm clicking on the back side of it through the cube. Sometimes you can do that. Sometimes you just need to rotate. All right, so I should have 12 selected, 12 edges. Cool. And now I can see if I hit OK, that's what that's going to look like. All right, so that looks a little bit better, a little bit more natural, a little bit more real. Um, if I wanted to see what it looked like a little bit different, I, could, I can just double click on that again. Let's come over here, let's put five. Let's just see what happens. All right. It doesn't like that. It failed. All right. Let's try one. All right. So that's a little bit more boxy. Let's, let's put back two. All right. So this is where you get to just play around, see what you like, play around and experiment with it. So there's a dice right there. Let's add some color. So if I come over here to the top, the very top bar right here, it says default. If I click on that and bring it down, and this may take a second, I see all these things. Rubber, metals, gold, silver, steel, wood. So you can make pretty much anything in Inventor. Let's so far let's say I wanted to make it look like aluminum. Oh. Look at that, it's nice and shiny, looks like aluminum. 
let's say I wanted to make it clear and blue. Look at that, it's almost like it's made out of glass or something. Glossy gold, I got a nice gold one right here. That looks kind of nice. Glossy gold. So you pick whatever color, whatever texture you like there. Um, some textures are different than others, obviously. Um, so one other thing you'll notice is you still have all these little lines on here. If I go to View, if I go to Visual Style, we've been working with Shaded with Edges, so it gives me those lines right there. If I want to do Shaded with Hidden Edges, that gives me what's called a hidden line. So it's like if I see through the object, I can see to the back side of it, I can see all the, the pips on the other sides. So that's a hidden line. I'm going to just shade it just to see what it would look like without any lines. Or if you want to get really fancy, you go to realistic, and that's going to add in a lot more of the, you can see the gloss right there, a lot more of the lighting, a lot more of the computery graphic type stuff. So that looks pretty cool. So play around with the colors right there, make it look nice, make it look pretty, make it look individual in your own little beautiful dice right there. You can use numbers, you can use letters, you can use the little circles. Play around with it, make something pretty, and let me know when you got it done.